If you're looking to buy a 3D modeling or architecture laptop right now, you picked the perfect time because right now they're introducing the 2023 models, which means the 2022 models from last year are going on sale and you can snag a great deal on a laptop that has the performance you need. So in this video, I'm going to talk through the performance needs that you might have, the specs that you should be considering, and a bunch of laptops that are my favorites from last year that are probably going to be kicking some great sales soon. So let's dive right in. First and foremost, we're looking at the entry level 3D modeling laptops. These are going to be laptops like the HP Victus, the Dell Game G15, the Lenovo Legion 5, kind of the Acer Swift X and the Asus Republic Gamer Flow X13, but we'll talk about those in a minute. These first three, Victus, Omen, Gaming, and Legion, are definitely going to be the entry level laptops with pretty good performance. Now, as far as 3D modeling goes, I really like to see laptops with six gigs of VRAM. That's going to be cards like the RTX 3060 or the RX 6700S. Now, that's actually eight gigs of VRAM but that's neither here nor there. It's more than six gigs. When you get into these four gig VRAM cards, like the RTX 3050 and 3050 Ti, they just don't have the oomph that the cards need to do great graphical performance. They just need a little bit more. And so though you can get away with an HP Victus or a Dell Gaming G15 or a Lenovo Legion 5 for some entry level 3D modeling and architecture as a student. As you become more into your career, you're gonna wanna definitely make the upgrade to a 3060 or a 3070 Ti or you know something in the Radeon RX 6700S, 6800S or the 6850 MXT, right? These bigger VRAM cards. Now, as far as RAM is concerned, you can see that most of the entry-level laptops are gonna have eight gigs of RAM. I really recommend 16 to 32. I know I'm taking you from budget and entry level and I'm kind of moving you up into mid range, but I just don't want you to be disappointed with your laptop. So I think as far as getting a laptop, definitely grab one with eight gigs of RAM if you intend to upgrade it. You know, maybe you'll get it, you'll start doing some 3D modeling and be like, hey, I'm a little laggy. Check your task manager and you'll probably see that you're using most, if not all of your RAM. And that will be an indicator that you should make an upgrade. You can easily flip over something like the HP Victus or the Legion 5 and upgrade the RAM to 16 or 32 gigs, right? That'd be a really nice upgrade to get more performance out of that computer. Now, as we're going through the video, if you're curious about the exact pricing and availability of any of these laptops, you can head down in the description below and click those links. If you do make a purchase, I'll get a small commission, but at no extra cost to you. But of course, I'm greatly appreciated when you use those links. So keep this channel alive and the helpful content coming your way. And if you found this video helpful, definitely just gently caress that like button. Give it a little tap. It'll let YouTube know that more people will appreciate this information and this video is quality content. Now, as you look at this lineup here, there's a couple different variations. Obviously the i5 and the Ryzen 5s are gonna be more entry level, moving up into the i7s and the Ryzen 7s and even the Ryzen 9s. Now with the Legion 5, this is a pretty interesting uh, go if you ask me. You can get a Legion 5 right now for around 750 to 850 USD, depending on you know the time of year that you're watching this video. If you're currently watching it right now, those are the sales that I am seeing. Now, I would make it a goal to find this laptop with an RTX 3060. Maybe you can get a Ryzen 5 with an RTX 3060. You might have to get the Ryzen 7 with an RTX 3060. What this will do is it'll give you a laptop that's technically two years old, but showed great performance in 3D modeling two years ago, almost equal performance to the 2022 models, especially if you have the 3060 and 16 to 32 gigs of RAM, man, you've got a great setup. So what I'm trying to paint here for you is how to pick the right laptop. You don't always have to get the newest, cheapest. You might be able to get a laptop that was the best two years ago that might even be better than the newest, cheapest laptop, right? So you just have to kind of do your research and do your due diligence to see which laptop is right for you. Um, but keep in mind that these laptops can have great performance. When it comes to 3D modeling, a nice, six gig VRAM card or higher is gonna be the main focus of your purchase and anywhere from 16 to 32 gigs of RAM. You can have a slightly slower CPU because the CPU only does so much in 3D modeling. Most CPUs the past couple of years have the single core performance you need for 3D modeling, but that GPU is of utmost importance to have an RTX 3060 or above in my opinion if you're gonna get into some serious 3D modeling. All right, that was a big explanation for the first slide because I wanna make sure you get all the information up front to make sure as you're going through this video, you're understanding why the laptops are, you know, heading up in price and also heading up in capabilities. So the Acer Swift X, again, is an entry-level laptop, light 3D modeling, something good for a student, but nothing serious or professional. The Asus Republic of Gamer Flow X13 is also a great laptop. It's great for students because it has a really long battery life. 
And it also has a Ryzen 9 6900 HS processor, which is a super quick, snappy multi-core processor and single core processor. Now that RTX 3050 Ti, again, is not gonna be the best with four gigs of VRAM for professional 3D modeling, but could definitely get you away with some student work for sure. All right, now moving up into the mid-range laptops, these are the laptops that are gonna be great for 3D modeling. They're all with RTX 3060s or above, all eight gigs of VRAM or above and I really recommend them all without any hesitation. All right, these are my favorite laptops for the best bang for buck in 2022. And even, you know, looking at these types of laptops back even to 2021, we'll talk about that with the Lenovo Legion 5 here in just a minute. Now the Zephyrus G14 is definitely without a doubt right now the best priced laptop for 3D modeling. The reason being is you have the RX 6700S, which is an AMD Radeon GPU. It is the one GPU SKU Radeon RX that kills it in SolidWorks. If you are looking to be a SolidWorks user, you either need to get an NVIDIA Workstation A-series GPU or P-series, you know, the Quadro GPUs, all right, those Workstation GPUs for SolidWorks. Because if you use even an RTX 3080 Ti, which is a gaming GPU, you're going to have want want performance inside of SolidWorks. You need an RX Radeon GPU like the Asus Zephyrus G14 or the Lenovo Legion 7 Slim AMD Advantage version with the RX 6800S. You can see that on the slide here. And these GPU CPU combos kill it in SolidWorks. They're the best bang for buck in SolidWorks, okay? Right now, that laptop is at $1199 USD. It retailed when it released for $1649. You can save $500. I've even heard of people picking it up for $999. So right now, if I were gonna buy any laptop and I wanted the best bang for buck performance, the G14 is killer if you can find it for that price. Now, the next laptop on the list, though not a great SolidWorks laptop, killed it in all the other programs like PTC Creo, Autodesk 3ds Max, and Autodesk Maya, is the Asus Republic of Gamer X16. To me, I've said this a lot in the videos recently, this is the best that Asus has to offer right now because they took all of their learnings from all of their laptops and it landed in this laptop. You have a large trackpad, you have upward facing speakers, you have a really nice tactile keyboard, you have a 16 by 10, 16 inch screen. You have a mini LED display that's both color accurate and bright. Okay, it's a two-in-one laptop, so it's great also for digital artists or presenting your work to you know your fellow students, your fellow professionals, your teacher, whatever it might be. This laptop has so much going for it. It also can come with an RTX 3070 Ti, which is a great, great GPU for 3D modeling and architecture, but it also is paired with a Ryzen 9 6900HS, so which also gives it great battery life. So if you're a student or a professional on the go, you can easily switch off that GPU and access 10 hours of on-the-go battery life out of a big, powerful laptop. So you go into the you know, command center, and I have videos about this, switch to eco mode, turn your brightness down, and you immediately have great battery life on this laptop. So for me, this may be the best laptop of the entire lineup because of its functionality, okay? I'm hard pressed to say it's the best bang for buck because if you go over here to the Legion 5 and 5i Pro, which we'll talk about in a minute, you get this laptop for $1,450. That's insane. And it has the performance of three to $4,000 laptops, but we'll talk about that in just a minute. The next laptop we're gonna talk about is a Republic of Gamer Strix G15 from two years ago, okay? Look at this price, $1,999 for a Ryzen 9 5900HX and an RTX 3080, all right? So as long as you're not using SolidWorks, this laptop is priced bonkers. 16 gigs of RAM and one terabyte of SSD, you cannot beat that. There is so much performance in that laptop. I mean, it is Asus's um, Legion series by far. I mean, that's just, the, that is a killer system. All right. So definitely a recommendation for that one. Now, next up is the Lenovo Legion Slim 7. This is the laptop I was talking about that would also be great for SolidWorks because it has the RX GPU, okay? It's thin, it's light, it's got good battery life, not great battery life, 16 inch panel, Ryzen 9 6900 HX processor, or if you get the 7i Slim, you get the Ryzen, sorry, if you get the 7i Slim, you get the Intel i7 12700H and the RTX 3060. Personally, I think the AMD version is the better bang for buck for this system, for the Lenovo Legion 7 Slim. But if you're a big Intel fan, it's good as well. I just think uh, for 3D modeling, the AMD Advantage makes the most sense. One of my favorite laptops from this year and last year. Um, love it. 
All right, best bang for buck out of this entire video is going to be the Lenovo Legion 5 Pro. I am uh, probably considered a fanboy by now, how much I've been talking about this thing, but it wasn't until the past year or two that I really gave this thing the light of day. I was more impressed with the HP Omen and the HP Victus up until I really started to see the credibility, performance, and bang for buck aspects of this laptop. $1,450 on sale right now, but think about this. When this laptop uh, came with a Ryzen 7 5800H and an RTX 3060 two years ago, this thing scored a 305 in PTC Creo. No, Autodesk Maya. I, I have not seen over a 305 on any laptop in the past two years. So this laptop has been hyper-optimized since 2020, 2021, since 2021. And so if you're looking for the, a great bang for buck laptop, I would go try and find the Ryzen 7 5800H with the RTX 3060 or 3070 for around the $1,200 price point. If you can't find it, then get the slightly newer one with the 6800H RTX 3060 for about $1,450. But I have seen the 5800H version with the RTX 3060, not the 3050 Ti or the 3050, but the 3060 for around $1,200, depending on when you're seeing it. Now. This laptop, I could spend uh, hours talking about how good it is, but this is a lineup video, so we're gonna keep moving forward so I don't spend hours on this video. Now, personally though, before I move on, the Ryzen version is great, but we did see a little bit better performance in 2022 from the Intel model, the i7-12700H and RTX 3060, so just keep that in mind. However, the Ryzen version got an extra hour of battery life. Seven hours of battery life out of the Intel, eight hours out of the Ryzen just for your information. Now the Acer Predator Triton 500 comes in both an i7 or an i9 and an RTX 3060 or 3080 Ti. Both are good for their own right. The 3060 is powerful. Obviously the 3080 is more powerful. It really just depends on the budget that you have. If you have a smaller budget, you're gonna have to go a little more entry level for the Predator Triton 500, but it is a killer laptop. It's the laptop that my editor uses for editing videos, but it also is a laptop that tested extremely well, the RTX 3080 Ti version, I mean, in 3D modeling. So just keep that in mind, it is a beast. Well built, nice trackpad, it's a great laptop. Now, the Gigabyte Aero 16 OLED, a laptop that does not get as much screen time as I think it deserves. This laptop has been seen for as little as $1,300 to $1,400. Now, the sales are, you know, sometimes off, sometimes on, so you just have to keep an eye out. But this is an aluminum built laptop. It's got a fantastic trackpad, great build quality. I really like it and it's got an OLED display. So it's very color accurate, very bright. Um, again, it just doesn't get enough press. The one downside to this laptop is I don't think it's the best battery life. Battery life's kind of poor. The um, management of the command center is kind of poor. It doesn't really do a lot. Um, but overall, everything else is great about that laptop. Now the Razer Blade 15, both the base model and the advanced model, great performance out of these laptops. To me, they're kind of the doppelganger MacBook Pro of Windows laptops. I've never been in love with them. They've never been my absolute favorite laptop, but they are very good. They're very well built, and I just love really the feel of them. Like I said, they're very reminiscent of a MacBook Pro, so the quality is what stands out most for the Razer Blade laptops. Now, the MacBook Pro 14 M1 Pro. Think about this. Currently, there's not a lot of programs running native on Apple Silicon. 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 Ugh, I never get that right. Apple can run 3D programs, but they're usually running through a Rosetta emulation or they're running through Parallels where you install Windows on your computer, which means they're not as streamlined. And actually some programs, you can't even run them. I was talking to my father recently and uh, he was working with one of his 3D designers and they were saying, I can't run Mac for these programs. I want to, but I can't. And so that is a very true thing. So make sure before you pull the trigger on a Mac product, you know what you're getting into. You know if you're gonna have to run Parallels. You know if you're gonna have to run Rosetta emulation for that program. Because if you do, that's gonna substantially decrease the performance capabilities that it would have had if it was native to the program. It was native to Mac OS, compared to being native to x86 and being on Windows, okay? Just keep that in mind. All right, the Asus ZenBook Pro Duo. Very cool laptop, got good performance. Um, not great. That RTX 3060 is gonna be good, but not great because you know 3070, 3080 Ti is gonna be better for 3D modeling. Uh, and you're running a lot, a lot of that GPU power is gonna be used for the two screens. They're two OLED screens. So you're gonna kind of be fighting your GPU. 
to be used for performance or screen production, right? So it's like having a little more powerful GPU would be actually kind of better for that laptop. But the advantage is the two screens. You can put some of you know your tools and some of your preview stuff on the lower screen, and then an upper screen can have more of what you're working on. It's just a really cool workflow. And I love the, the trackpad on the right side. It actually makes a lot of sense. I used it quite a few times in the past, and I love that trackpad down at the side because you don't get in the way of your keyboard shortcuts, right? A lot of times if I'm using the trackpad, oh, that didn't help. You couldn't see it. I'm using the trackpad. I'm like kind of like over the top where the trackpad's down here and you can use your shortcuts here in the space bar. So it's kind of cool. It's like a really nice 3D modeling vibe because I know shortcuts are very, very prevalent in those types of tools. All right, next is the high-end workstations and SolidWorks laptops. So these are laptops that I think would be fantastic for SolidWorks. They have workstation GPUs or they have Radeon RX GPUs. Two very important things when using SolidWorks um, or just getting more performance out of workstation specific programs, programs that desire either an A series or a P series or a Quadro GPU from NVIDIA or really thrive with an RX Radeon GPU from AMD. So the laptops here in the lineup are really the top picks. I love the P16. I think it has great build quality. I think it's a great looking laptop and it's got good performance at a great price point. As you can see, the Dell Precision's a bit more expensive, not my favorite. And then as you get into the HP ZBook Studio and Fury, those things can go from like $2,000 to $9,000 in the blink of an eye as soon as you start making upgrades. Now, as far as like the best equipped laptop on this whole lineup, you can see the MSI WE76. It's expensive, about $4,200. However, it comes to the i9-11980HK and an A5000. Beast of a laptop, super powerful. Um, so this is a good lineup. Now for 3D modelers, one of the laptops that I really want to give a shout out for is going to be the ASUS ProArt StudioBook Pro 16 OLED. This laptop you can get with an A series GPU. It also has the clickable buttons to view around objects. So you can click the center button and then you can scroll around an object. So it really the shortcuts on this laptop are great. You also have the ASUS dial. You can program this to maybe increase or decrease the size of your tools. You can zoom in and zoom out. You can click with the dial. You can even change your brightness or your, you know, your music volume, right? There's like a lot that the dial can do. This can be programmed by you to work according to your workflow. So it's a big productivity booster. So I really think the ASUS Pro Studio Book Pro 16 OLED is one of the best productivity-based 3D modeling laptops, and you can get it with a variety of SKUs. I'll link those in the description below. Now, the best bang for buck SolidWorks laptops. These are SolidWorks. These are laptops that I have found with the RX Radeon GPUs. They're not workstation GPUs, but they are more affordable laptops that really will still get great performance in SolidWorks without having to purchase a four to five to six thousand dollar workstation computer. The Asus Zephyrus G14, right now on sale for $1199 in the US at Best Buy. I've even heard people getting it for $999, $999. It's a $1,649 laptop when it released. The HP Omen with the Ryzen 7 6800H and RX 6650 m the MSI Delta AMD version, the Corsair Voyager AMD version, and the Lenovo Legion 7 AMD Advantage, or the Lenovo Legion Slim 7. I think the Slim 7 is the best bang for buck because the full AMD Advantage Legion 7 is actually about $2,700. Right now you can find the Legion Slim on sale for about $1,749. So you can save about $1,000 going for the Slim. Which laptop are you considering? I'm super curious which one stood out to you the most. Definitely comment below and let me know. And as far as thinking about 2023 laptops is concerned, think about if it's really worth waiting and if it's worth paying the extra price because these 2022 laptops are giving us some great deals and they've shown us great performance. Now there's a lot to come in 2023. We do have Nvidia 4000 coming out. We have Intel 13th gen and Ryzen 7. So there's a lot that's gonna come out that's actually gonna make these laptops even more affordable. So again, time will tell. There's always gonna be new products. So don't fall into that fear of you're gonna miss out on the new products because currently right now, these products that I've talked about here today have great performance. So don't feel this you know, FOMO of missing out. However, if you wanna wait, I understand. Sometimes it does make sense to wait and see what the performance results bring. Links in the description if you're ready to make a purchase. And drop a subscribe if you want to help us reach 100,000 subscribers. I would greatly appreciate it. I'll see you here in the next video.